Sam, let's start then with Taiwan's appeal for helping get vaccines. Why have they made this appeal and where are they in this process? Well, the race is now on to get more vaccines. And until the beginning of May, Taiwan was fairly sanguine about vaccines. It had only acquired about 350,000 doses, which is only enough to vaccinate less than 1% of the population. And even then, there was, there was no great rush among the public to get the jab. Um, but all of that changed at the beginning of this month when this, this outbreak emerged. Uh, people have since then been scrambling to get the, you know, the few vaccines that are available uh, before they run out. And so that leaves the government in a position where it desperately needs to get more before you know, the, its remaining stocks do run out. Uh, and so it's turned to the U.S. for help. Um, in an interview with us uh, yesterday, Taiwan's top diplomat Matt, in New York made the case that if the U.S. wants to see Taiwan continue churning out uh, vital semiconductors, then uh, maybe they should send some more vaccines uh, Taiwan's way to help ensure that uh, TSMC's fabs keep running. And, and, and Sam, on the actual issue of what, what is the virus situation right now, uh, in Taiwan, does it look like we're headed for a full lockdown? Well, that really is the $700 billion question right now. $700 billion obviously being the size of Taiwan's economy. So, so far, the government has implemented a soft lockdown. So that means that uh, companies and offices are still open, but schools and all kinds of entertainment and uh, recreation venues are shut and gatherings of more than just a handful of people are not allowed. So, so far, it does seem to be having an effect. The number of new cases each day has stayed fairly flat, between two and 300 a day for the past week. Um, and we're not mm. seeing that kind of exponential rise in cases that would, would be real cause for worry. Um, but as for whether or not Taiwan will have to go further and go to full lockdown, where all non-essential travel and trips outside the home are banned, officials are sounding cautious but increasingly optimistic that can be avoided. But if you if you speak to health experts, um, they are of a different mindset and see it as the all but inevitable. And the only way to stop the spread until Taiwan can get its hands on more, more vaccines. Right. And of course, a full lockdown would have a, a greater impact on the economy. What are we seeing in terms of, of the impact up until now, sir, in, term, in terms of the economy, the economics? You brought in the chip makers, the fabs. So, so far, there hasn't been a, an impact on the chip makers. There, there is a saying here that the government can shut off electricity and water for all of Taiwan, but it won't cut it off uh, for TSMC. And, and the same logic applies to the virus restrictions, right? Uh, the government will do everything it can to keep TSMC's fabs running. Uh, and as for the broader economy, I mean, obviously, it will have a big impact on retail and hospitality, but it's too soon to tell, really, if it will make a big dent in the over, uh, overall economic uh, 